Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my new video. Today's video is gonna be a bit different and we're gonna focus on a new browser called Arc. So let's dive in deep and discover everything that makes this browser unique. Well, let's find out. So when you open up the app for the first time, the first thing that strikes you is its beautiful app and animations. There's no way to overstate how significant even simple things like presentations, animations, and design can be. Since we are discussing design, we'll start that as a first reason. From designers to ordinary individuals, the attention to detail is greatly appreciated. With its nice design options, including the ability to select colors or gradient, the browser is engineered to always look great, regardless of the color you choose. Also, it has the ability to add noise, the background and change the transparency which makes it particularly attractive. That's not all, because when you start moving things around, you'll be greeted with smooth and consistent animations that no browser can match. All that being said, I think the design is one of the best I've seen in a browser. Heck, even compared to any other app that I have used. But wait, attractive design is not always a functional design, or frankly, a good one. Thankfully, this browser offers one of the most user-friendly and functional designs overlays I've seen in a browser. And that's the main reason the browser is as good as they say it is. So instead of having all the tabs at the top, now it's all organized on the left, organized in an unorthodox manner. It can sound a bit weird at the beginning, but trust me, you'll get used to this. You have all your favorite apps always open and ready at the top. They are called pin tabs, and at the bottom, you have your actual tabs which you can use to scratch, open and just play around with. The coolest part is that you can create different spaces to organize your different pinned tabs, including just regular tabs in different spaces. And then you have your favorite tabs always right there at the top, even when you change between different spaces. Quite frankly, this is genius. Instead of having a hundred tabs like you have on a normal browser, now you can divide your tabs in an organized manner dividing them into different spaces and each space well has its own meaning and its own different space for example i have an area just for normal daily stuff an area for design and multimedia websites an area for ai tools i use and finally an area where i do all my financing ah uh, and what's that thing hanging over the top well as we talked about it's your favorite website that's quite important, at least for me, as I can have all my music up there, a website that I use to constantly share files, and a website that I use, for example, Google Meets, that I use constantly at work. This way, I don't have to find the specific tab in a specific space. I know that I always have it at the top. Now, if you thought we were done with features, well, you're wrong. This browser packs a punch. We now jump to productivity and these include some awesome features that you might use, well, one of them is being able to divide your windows into two sub-windows so easily. I mean, look at that, that's awesome. This is especially useful when you are doing something, getting ideas, for example, searching while video calling, on a small screen, and so on. You can also keep groups like this and go back when you need it to, it's always there, group. And then there's stuff like notes, easels. Notes can be self-explanatory, but interesting to have it in a browser. It's something similar to Notion, but in a very limited way, focusing on notes and organization. This is quite nice, as we talked about the dividing tab feature. You can use the notes to divide a tab, and then, well, take notes comfortably regarding that specific website. And then we have easel. And with easel, well, I'm just gonna call it super notes. It's self-explanatory as well. It's something similar to notes, but you have all the flexibility to add colors, shapes, images, links, and just organize it as you want. It's excellent. Let me give you an example. For example, here, I've got easel open, and you can easily <laughs> to get nice mood boards, including writing, adding shapes, and links, and photos, and much more. And I can create my space with my photos and my notes that I can then share with other people. This is welcoming as well, as I can create quick mood boards as a designer and get things organized into specific board. It's quick and fast and works very nicely, surprisingly. 
as we saw we have a lot of futures and all those futures are really helpful to a lot of people and can make arc extremely addictive very quickly now we get to the small details of arc yes we're still not done and these details can be from extremely useful to a bit finicky let's see Small details are stuff like getting a pop-up notification or lookup bar when you hover around a specific app, well, a browser, like Gmail or Figma. That's awesome, a bit finicky though. Furthermore, every time you're watching a video and switch to another tab, the video pops out and puts it in another window where you can resize and, well, just drag around wherever you need. This feature works so well and I appreciate it completely every time I'm watching a YouTube video or any video. Plus, you have nice shortcuts like accessing the search bar, copying text and links and so much more that I haven't covered. Now, let's get to disadvantages. There are not a lot of disadvantages, but there are a few things that you should keep in mind. First of all, you should keep in mind that Arc is not a final product. It's in beta. So I did realize a lot of, well, a bit of lags here and there, especially when I have more than 50 or 60 tabs open. Yeah, I do have that many tabs open sometimes. It might do something a bit weird here and there. And sometimes, unfortunately, it doesn't play a YouTube video. These are bugs that include inside Arc. As I verified with other browsers, I don't have the same issues. Another disadvantage is if you actually want a browser, you're going to be waiting quite a long time. It took me a few months for them to accept my invitation and they might for you as well but don't expect getting your hands on ARC very quickly. Honestly, I couldn't find a lot of disadvantages, at least for now. Something that I haven't mentioned is that this is a Chromium browser. It's a Chrome-based browser. So you can have all your extensions, like you do on Chrome, on ARC. And well, it looks and functions similarly to Chrome. Opening up websites, the settings, saving cards and passwords are all chromium based for now arc is an excellent browser and i've been more than happy using it but now at least now arc is untouchable and if you are a complex tech geek person like me or even a normal person that just uses a web browser for normal things you'll appreciate the small details arc really offers okay thank you so much for watching if you like my video please hit the thumbs up button for the algorithm to do its thing i do a lot of productivity related videos including technology productivity time management and so on please subscribe if you like what you hear and i'll see you well next time